Hi, this is Scott with Airmax, here to share some tips and tricks for installing a new Lake Series fountain in a matter of minutes. Whether investing in a 2, 3, or 5 horsepower model, we're confident that Airmax's continued innovations make us the number one choice for installers. Airmax Lake Series fountains are designed and engineered with industry-exclusive features that not only provide unmatched performance, but also make them the easiest fountains on the market to install. Airmax Lake Series fountains are available with the following. Lake Series power unit, no assembly required. The ISP float system, an industry first, designed for ease of installation, exceptional stability, and the elimination of the unwanted sound of water drumming on the float. Includes three pontoons with the two and three horsepower models, and four pontoons with the five horsepower model. Quick change nozzle system, multiple spray pattern options sold separately. Power cord with underwater quick disconnects, Optional remote controlled RGBW LED color changing light set sold separately and control panel with dual digital timers for both fountain and lights. Airmax recommends commissioning your control panel prior to fountain installation. Visit our pro portal and refer to our commissioning the control panel video for proper electrical system checks. Because all ponds and lakes are different shapes and sizes, mooring line is not included. We recommend mooring your fountain to the shoreline using vinyl coated galvanized cable, four cable clamps, two carabiners, and two mooring stakes. Center mooring the fountain to the lake floor is also an option, particularly for water bodies that have boats or swimmers. Airmax mooring kits are sold separately. Start by laying the fountain on its side near the water's edge. Securely attach the power cord to the fountain motor lead quick disconnect. Then attach the power cord strain relief to the lower D-ring on the intake basket. If you are installing an Airmax RGBW LED Lake Series light set, you will want to start that process now. Attach one light set mounting bracket to the pontoon rail with the Airmax logo facing you. Make sure that the mounting bracket is positioned between the two float support clamps. Secure the light set mounting bracket with the two thumb screws. Next. Install a three light set on the holders by clipping the light clamp over the holder and secure in place with a thumb screw. Note that the quick disconnect should point toward the fountain. Repeat the process for each of the remaining light set assemblies. Install the Lake Series light set junction box by removing one of the intake assembly T-knobs and place the mounting bracket over the threaded stud. Secure in place with the T-knob. Do not remove any of the quick disconnect winterization caps from the power cords until instructed to do so. You will connect power to the light sets in a later step. Move the fountain a few feet into the water and lay it on its side, ensuring the discharge is facing the shore. The fountain should rest on the float mount brackets. Slide one float assembly onto the float mount bracket that is out of the water. Secure the pontoon with the locking pin, which is tethered to the float mount bracket. Repeat the process until all float assemblies have been installed. It's time to add power to the lights by connecting each of the disconnects from the light sets to each of the corresponding leads on the junction box. The winterization caps will be removed at this time. Save all winterization caps for use when the fountain is removed for the season or during maintenance. Next, connect the light power cord to the quick disconnect on the bottom of the junction box. Be sure to avoid getting water in the disconnects during assembly. Then attach the light power cord strain relief to one of the upper D-rings on the intake assembly. You can test to ensure the lights are functioning properly by going to the control panel and turning on the 115 volt breaker. Press the manual on button on the timer until the red indicator light is activated. Inspect each light assembly to ensure all lights are working and responding to the remote. Your spray pattern can also be installed at this time. However, it is good practice with any fountain to turn the unit on briefly to flush the discharge before installing your nozzle. This will allow you to remove any debris from the intake that may cause potential disruptions to the quality of the spray pattern. To install the spray pattern, first remove the 6 inch nozzle nut by rotating it 60 degrees counterclockwise. Install your selected spray plate and reinstall the nozzle nut. If using one of the spray patterns with the built in 4 inch nozzle nut, a flow straightener must be used. Simply install the flow straightener into the discharge and secure with the 6 inch nozzle nut. Then install the spray plate making sure to securely hand tighten the 4-inch nut. 
Next, you'll want to prep your mooring lines by attaching one mooring cable to each of the two upper D-rings on the intake basket. Keeping the ends of the mooring cables on the shore, raise the end of the near float assembly until the weight of the fountain is supported by the floats pointing toward the lake. Walk the fountain toward the center until the intake basket no longer rests on the lake floor and lower the near float assembly to ensure the fountain is fully supported by the floats. You are now ready to attach the mooring cable. Drive the stake securely into the ground. Attach one end of the mooring cable to an approved mooring stake at the water's edge. Walk the second mooring cable around to the opposite side of the lake and secure the second mooring stake. You can also use a boat to reach the opposite shore. Mooring lines should be tight enough to prevent the fountain from twisting and shifting during operation, but left with enough slack to hide the lines below the surface of the water. If you choose center mooring, anchor the fountain using blocks or weights. Spread the blocks far enough apart so the mooring lines are snug and the fountain cannot spin from the force of the motor, which could cause the lines to become tangled. It's time to start up your Lake Series fountain. Refer to the digital timer instructions for programming options and ensure that both timers are set to auto when programming is complete. The unit should now be up and running. To remove the fountain for winterization or maintenance, simply follow the installation instructions in reverse order. We hope you find this information useful. If you have any questions or need assistance, feel free to reach out to AirMax Technical Support or visit us online at airmaxeco.com.